was it a good response today in practice? Yeah, I think it was just good to get in the gym. We haven't practiced in a while. Cheryl said it was like our 23rd practice and we've had 24 games. So that's kind of crazy to think about just to get in the gym, you know, get some reps in and on the practice court. Uh, felt good. What was that balancing act of, okay, yeah, because you need your rest, but yeah, I mean, that's crazy that you've only had 23 practices. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's, you know, the nature of the season. We play so many games in such a short amount of time with travel, and they're really good about resting us when we need to get rest um, after game days. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely a unique situation when you're not practicing as much, and some young players, like, it's good. Their practice time is valid, so valuable. So, um, yeah, it was good today. Are there things you can point to why the last two losses took place? I mean, clearly, he thinks he doesn't play. We get that. But other things you can point at? I mean, I think it's a lot of things. Um, yeah, obviously, not having to be that affects our team majorly. Um, um, our defense hasn't been outstanding, like it hasn't been bad, but we've had some moments, you know, where we need to be better and our offense isn't clicking, so we definitely need to hang our hand, hang our heads on the defensive end a little bit more. Um, and we rely on that all season and we can get back to that um, pretty easily if we just lock in. Um, but yeah, I think offensively is just kind of finding our way, again, without B, changes how we look. Um, again, we're still playing the same way, but just she's an MVP player, so um, obviously it changes things. What are the challenges of navigating tomorrow with so much to look forward to beyond tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're all pretty locked in. You know, we know what's in front of us. We know that there's things going on after the game that everyone's kind of going their separate ways, but we're locked in. We want to get this win and finish off uh, this part of the season on a high. What's kind of your timeline like? Do you uh, take off for Olympic training immediately after the game? Right tomorrow? after the game. Yeah, well, my flight's at like 9.30. Uh, I meet my team in Spain. They're there right now, exhibition game. So I'll meet Fly to Madrid tomorrow night, land Thursday. And so no chance of being a late add to the three-point contest this season? <laughs> I was not asked. I was not asked. <laughs> when, you know, when you think about the next couple months, or next couple weeks, a month, coming back, you know, afterwards, and it probably feels like a long way from now, yeah. but, um, you know, for you personally, like, would you rather still be playing? Would you rather have a couple weeks off to be training? Like, I guess, like, what, what, how does that Olympic, quote-unquote, break for you, yeah. like, how do you think that that'll kind of ease back into the transition coming back to the second half of the season here? I mean, for me, it's, I mean, it's the Olympics. It's what I'm so happy and proud to be there. So that's like, I don't wish anything else. Like I'm very happy and thankful. I know for a lot of people, it's a really good time to get rested and recovered and uh, get healthy. So like there's benefits to everyone, but you know, the three of us that are going to be at the Olympics are just so happy to be there. Obviously we don't get the rest that other people do, but I mean, it's the Olympics. We're not going to complain for one second about that. <laughs> I know tomorrow is not the first Kids Day game you've played in this season, but it's the first one here at home. What does it mean to, to make that impression on all the young girls and boys that will be in the building and watching women's sports? Yeah, it's so fun. You feel the energy. Every kids game you're in, like, you just feel so much energy from, like, the an hour before the game when they're just screaming for no reason. We're like, oh my goodness. And it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's just so fun and the energy and just to have so many young eyes on us is, you know, an opportunity for us to just show what you can do um, through sport. You know, we're inspirations to men, boys and girls. So um, we don't want to put on a good show and hopefully they have some fun. How would you describe that atmosphere for someone, you know, you played in big games, obviously, in big moments, but Sometimes the randomness of when that noise yeah. comes. How would you yeah. describe it's it? It's like cause you don't expect it sometimes, and you're like, "What is going on?" Um, it's fun though. It just adds another level of energy in the building, um, and the loud screams. Um, and they love the entertainment. You know, it's not just the basketball; they're there for like all of it. Um, so that's fun. I think that's you know we're here to entertain and be enjoyment. And, um, they can find enjoyment in us, and I think that's uh, a really good thing as well. Just what sort of pride do you take in playing in the Olympics and getting to represent your home country? Yeah, it's, I mean, it means everything to me, uh, representing Canada. I'm so yeah. proud to be Canadian. I'm proud to be from Canada. I get back there as much as I can. So every time I get the chance to represent my country on like the biggest stage at the Olympic stage, it's always been a dream of mine. Um, my number one goal, like when I started playing basketball, was to be an Olympian. So now that I get to do it twice, um, it's just pretty surreal. Um, it's again, it's like I leave literally tomorrow and I haven't really thought about it too much. Like I've started packing, but like I'm just so locked in on this link season and finishing out uh, before the break here. But yeah, I'm super excited. Is the beauty that you're, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like this is the best basketball you've ever played. And that can carry over into Paris. Hopefully, I'll just kind of ride the high. I mean, I'm shooting well from three, and hopefully that continues. Um, just being aggressive. I, I know what I'm capable of. I know I know the type of player I am. I play overseas all year. Um, I play for my national team for a number of years now. So my roles change, and I just kind of try to stay as, as consistent as I can. And I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna shoot a crazy percentage all the time. But as long as I can do the little things that I can control and help my team win. Well, as we see. Good luck Thank tomorrow. You.